hello everyone welcome back to another video uh, in this video as you can see i'm going to talk about dki and keys why is it required um, basically you know to enhance your email security suppose if salesforce is sending emails on your behalf and that needs to be signed digitally signed some way that you know it is not a forged email or a phishing email or any sort of uh, you know internet security threat so that the recipient is fully aware that okay this is salesforce managed domain not managed in fact salesforce i mean this domain owner has authorized salesforce to send emails on their behalf so i mean what are the steps i'll show you uh, after this you know i'll create it in my dev org and show you what is the steps and what needs to be done after that to activate this uh, you know dkim key so yeah basically the domain key was introduced by yahoo and you know internet identified mails was created by cisco and they merged it and they created a dkim key to form a uniform you know email security uh, to be sent if uh, someone is using your domain or it's any automated email you are sending which is outside your uh, domain like you know uh, you have your own company.com and Salesforce is sending emails from your org, which is like company.com, some email. So that might trigger a red alert in some of the recipients saying, okay, someone is sending emails on this company.com behalf. So in order to avoid all this confusion, so now we are going to create a DKIM key in Salesforce to approve Salesforce to use this domain and send the emails as, you know, signed by our domain. So that you know the recipient email system or the network don't block these emails or even if it comes, it comes as like you know you might have seen like a warning when the email was received. It says it's not from the trusted source or something like that. But when you have approved activated DKM keys in Salesforce, it goes as a trusted email. So there'll be you know uh, you will be avoiding chances of your email getting lost or you know being not trusted so now let's go ahead and create the dkim keys how it works okay first thing we need let me go to dkim keys go to setup and search for dkim it comes under email administration and i don't have a dkim key here so what i'll do is i'll create a new and then you notice you know you need a domain so what is my domain you can see it from here but just to make sure let me go to domain since this is a sandbox it's something i initially given it as my lightning something so your domain name is this one okay so yeah this is my developer art so that's why it's not you know like a proper company name it's a subdomain name so that's how it looks like this so now i'll go ahead and create uh, you know dkm key first key size select as 1024 bit not 2084 1024 is sufficient so i'll create selector as salesforce bit one and salesforce bit two and now I will copy by the domain name whichever I have you know given in my domains and here in the domain match if I have subdomain as well I can select subdomains of the domain only or like individual option I will select both of them okay and now I will save okay you see that Salesforce has published TXT record for this DKM key to the DNS and before activating this key add the CNAME and alternate CNAME records in your DNS domain. Okay, it has created these two CNAME and alternate CNAME. I think this these two records will have to be added by your company's DNS or the email team. They will have to give a host name and the value value of one as this one and the value two as this one. So once they have created it 
this activate button will be enabled and you will click on that activate button and from then on any email which is going out of the Salesforce will be signed authorized and there will not be any chance of it being mistrusted by recipient that way your all success rate of emails will be more and how I came across this is like I was you know following up with Salesforce support to increase the email limit then they said now it is a prerequisite like you need to have a DKM key enabled in order for you to you know approve the email limit increase so that's when I did the small research and created it in our production org but just for demonstration purpose I'm showing it in your uh, I mean I'm showing it in my developer sandbox so you can follow these steps and if you have any questions or your thoughts you can leave it in the comments below then that's it see you in the next video bye bye